Schomburg Speed. We're gonna be heading there tomorrow, hiking it. <laughs> really couldn't sleep all night. We thought it would have been a short way, unless treacherous. Sliding. But eventually, it was much longer and much more treacherous. There's hope, plenty hope. Oh my God. Look at this beauty! Imagine this picturesque scene. There you are, nestled among the incredible Kanuku mountain range in Guyana, with a view overlooking the northern plain of the Rupununi savannas. How majestic this must be. This is exactly what a few daring adventurers got to experience on one amazing trip. To begin our story, these travelers and their guide must first get to the marvelous location. They had to travel from Georgetown, almost 400 miles south, deep into Guyana's interior areas. The closest town in this area is Letem, which only recently was named a town to begin with. Letem borders the Brazilian state of Roraima, adding to its unique importance. Just 10 miles south of the town, one can observe the grandiose Kanuku mountain range in all its splendor and beauty. The mountain range runs east to west, dissecting Guyana's interior Rupununi savannas. It also runs from the Essequibo River to the western border of Brazil. Small by no means. We are heading up in the Kanuku Mountain Range. There is a peak called Schomburg's Peak. It's in excess of 3,000 feet high. We're going to be heading there tomorrow, hiking it, overnighting there. And on Christmas morning, we're going to be shop, uh, popping our bottle of champagne, praising the Lord for the energy, the resources, and the ability to do what we are doing. I like to be blending with nature. I've never done something like this. So it's daring what I'm about to do. So some basic tips in doing some hikes like these is advisable that we are fully geared. Our, all of our hands should cover, should be covered, legs should be covered as much as possible. Next, if possible, it's important because we have some little ticks and we have some little flies and we go in the jungle, in the truck, in the jungle or in the rainforest, in the Amazon. It's wild out there. So you just have to take some basic precautions in order for you to not get yourself entangled with this mother nature. So um, it's advisable again that you spray uh, box spray on your skin, rub it all over, and when you have your clothes on, you then spray all over again. So while I am packing and preparing for my hike, uh, these little tips should be known. If, at this point, you are wondering what the word Kanuku means, well, that would be luscious greenery. The region surrounding the mountain range is one of the most diverse areas in South America with regards to flora and fauna. So much so that the entire area is declared by Conservation International as a protected site. Our adventurers are sure in for a treat on this particular expedition. Okay, what you should do not to disturb the living continue thing on back. Is it bees or follow me? 
It looks like follow me. Before starting, they set hiking the renowned Schomburg's Peak as their main goal. Some 3,200 feet in height, the peak's name was derived from Mr. Robert Schomburg, a German explorer who fell in love with the area and spent an enormous time studying it. Most importantly, he was hired by the Queen of England to demarcate the boundaries of present-day Guyana. In year 1841, the peak was named after him for her sterling contribution in the history of Guyana and its surrounding areas. So, we are almost 50% uh, hike. Uh, another probably two hours more. Now it's quarter past two, by four, four thirty. We should be there. Um, so it's very tiresome, very challenging, but yet, um, what's the word should I use? Very satisfying. We are almost on the, on the top. We are almost not too far away from the peak. How do we go? Alright, watch. Who? What? Said, let's go. When she yeah, ever called out, said, let's go. He said, let's sit. Now we think changing to let's go. Ay, ay, ay. Up here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this wow. The beauty of overlooking the great plains of the northern savannas and the town of Letham in the distance could never be explained by words or pictures. To be there in person and experience this most picturesque scenery was otherworldly. Yeah. Oh the view from here, there is no camera, no video can actually tell you uh, rather than being here yourself. This is what I've just gathered. I have been doing these things, but this area, there is no word that can explain this feeling of being here on the Schamburg Peak. It's wonderful. It's gorgeous. It's fantastic. Once you're not looking down, once you're not looking down, it's fine, it's okay. But once you do this, I'll take a piece of rock and I'll go all the way. And that has gone in excess of 2,500 feet. Look at this. I'm wondering if there's any pieces of rock that can give away from here. Well, uh, it's about 8 o'clock in the night and we have just lit our campfire. Uh, it's really cool up here and late in the night it will get much more cold. In the morning, it will be very cool. Five o'clock in the morning. All night, all night. High winds, really high winds. Thinking our tents will blow away with us inside. Really couldn't sleep all night. You can actually hear it. I find it exciting. Really, really high wind.
December 2020 and we are here. We did it. It's an achievement. Always want to challenge myself. Always want to do something daring and we did. So my guys are here. There. We are all here. We are now back to hike down early the morning, early this morning. Hopefully in another four hours or five hours we can reach our tongue of Latim. It's also difficult, we can't even see. The adventurers and their guide spent the night on the peak around a campfire and had some fireworks set off. They awoke early on Christmas Day, December 25th, 2020 and began the hike down the mountain just after a hot cup of coffee and a light breakfast. Their official descent started at 6 a.m. in the morning. This time, however, they did not take the same route they took to ascend the mountain. Rather, they challenged themselves, going along the Puma River located within the mountain range. This route tested their endurance. It was a longer, winding route to be sure, and one not very explored not knowing the challenges they faced ahead. You got me? Yeah. <laughs> Feeling lost at one point, the adventurers thought that their journey would never end. They thought that perhaps they should have turned back and taken the safer route down. But it was too late into the trek to turn around. Through will and perseverance, they pushed through the underbrush on the path that they had chosen. It was surely their adventurous spirit that gave them the courage to push on. There were times when they encountered some dangerous cliffs, steep drop-offs, and beautiful, breathtaking waterfalls. Yet, they found where they needed to go and got down the mountain safely, save for a few small scrapes, bruises, and insect bites along the way. In total, the trek down these terrains took the adventurers six and a half hours. They reached their base camp at the foot of the peak 
and thank their amazing guide who was instrumental in helping them along the way. Okay, so we finally made it. This way down, we thought it would have been a shorter way and less treacherous, but eventually it was much longer and much more treacherous to the point where we didn't thought we could have make it down but rather camp up there it's um what can i say is a is a something that if you don't know your terrain don't venture into it unless you really have some assurance so being the adventurous person i am i asked the guy let's take the other route hiking down the falls we did and it was a much more challenge going up with in fact more it took like uh, another hour or so coming down it should have been shorter so uh, five hours and five and a half hours down uh, with some very 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 steep cliff areas and so on that I thought probably would have been uh, impossible so finally done we are here I'm gonna be taking off my signature hat and um, I can breathe some fresh air again <laughs> so peace out surely nothing could describe the beauty and thrill such an experience. Uh, friends, I'll be doing a little um, show for you guys. So, guys, you want to join me in? All over. Out. <laughs> <laughs>